Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Is there anything Taylor Swift can't do? One of Donald Trump's most famous former aides and detractors declared the pop star the only person who could defeat the ex-president in his 2024 re-election bid. Alyssa Fair Griffin doubled down on her love for the 12-time Grammy winner, as well as her disdain for her former boss during a Monday episode of The View, Behind the Table podcast. Fair Griffin and executive producer Brian Tetta were discussing the overwhelming coverage of Swift's romance with Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kels when the former White House Director of Strategic Communications abruptly made the dig at Trump. This ends in one way. We are all Taylor Swift fans and, to be honest, if Donald Trump looks like he's going to win, she's just going to need to get in the race and defeat him once and for all, because she's probably the only person who can, Fair Griffin said while laughing. Teta eagerly diverted the conversation back toward the celebrity couple. There you go, there you go, he hurriedly said. In the same episode, Fair Griffin said she could explain in one paragraph any of the various cases against Trump, pointing to his accusations of wrongdoing during his time as commander-in-chief. The passing jab at Trump is just one of many Fair Griffin has fired at her former boss since joining the daytime panel in July 2022. I'll never vote for Trump again, I've been clear on that, she vowed in April. I would tend to write in. I don't think I should have to change my Republican values because two parties are putting up options that I don't like. She has repeatedly met with investigators probing the attack on the United States Capitol that occurred on January 6, 2021, to give first-hand accounts of times Trump seemed to acknowledge he lost the election to Joe Biden. Fair Griffin has also said she regrets working as Trump's director of strategic communications and assistant to the president in 2020. Trump responded to her barbs in his typical fashion earlier this year, calling her a barrage of nicknames like sleazebag, loser and backbencher.